ready? Call the um, June 1st like we're being order at 6 p.m. First item is um, to set and adjust the agenda. We are removing item number two and just shifting the others up in order accordingly. Casey will be giving Tom's report. <laughs> And Mike was on a three day police chief's meeting, so I gave him my dog. I move we accept the agenda as amended. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Ayes have it. Um, we are at, we are removing item two. We have communication from the audience for anything that's not on the agenda. You guys are on the agenda. What were the hobbies? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we don't get that strangers. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Thank you for coming. Of course. Uh, the next item is for the sec board to approve the minutes of the regular sec board meeting May 18th. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Eyes have it. Thanks for writing us in great. Um, the next item is the town manager's report given by David Edson. Okay, there is a new crosswalk that exists at crossing North Union Street by the library. It's out there, it's a little funky. This is a temporary crosswalk that will be placed in, will be in place for the duration of the library project. The sidewalk is closed after the lower crosswalk, and the goal is to not have people walking in the roadway next to the fence. Please use the crosswalks rather than walking next to the fences. It is hard for people to see when they're pulling out of West Church Street. Um, as with all construction projects, conditions will improve every day that passes. So if you haven't noticed yet, we have a beautiful, we have beautified the area around the depot and the townhouse as the first phase of the trailhead development for the LVRT commences. More improvements will come. I want to also direct folks' attention to the new parking area on Creamery Road, which is just across the tracks. Um, this parking area can be used for LVRT trail access, as well as long-term parking for employees of downtown businesses. It is less than a quarter mile from many of the Mill and Main Street businesses, and is located in our designated downtown. I would say this area could easily fit 30 to 40 cars, which would alleviate all the parking issues in the immediate downtown. In my opinion, this is a good way to start and end your shift with a short walk to decompress before heading into work or after leaving work. <laughs> so seriously, this what's up? Just a quick question about where yeah. that is. Is that between the is that in the um like between the depot and the you can't um, miss it. Um, oh, wait, um, three yeah, you can't miss it. It's remarkably nice and light. There's part of things that they yeah. uh, look we'll smooth. They, they have to set those still. So. Yeah, they're going to set them and fix that. Right. Yeah. 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 So we need to sell that parking area to people. It's, it's, it's trail that it's also down the parking side. You know what I mean? But like, so the state is going to put in wayfinding signage for that parking area. Um, I've also requested that they take 20,000 square feet out of our lease. That we have, which is 74,000 square feet over there. Um, what I'd like to do is when we have events at the townhouse, direct people to park up in that area. Right. So, like some event parking signs at the intersection here. Um, but I think we really need to utilize that. that yeah, big, it's not a that long to walk to. No. It's way better. Well, than you have. even the downtown. Yeah, yeah. here, walking all the way up there. Um, the I've talked to the co op about it. And they're gonna. I've got to send them an email with a map and a picture, and so they can tell their employees. We did this. We did this. Right. Yeah. Right. Congestion on West Church when they have a big funeral. Yeah, but it's. I think it's going to alleviate a lot of this problem. And the library. The library. Yeah. And it's you can jump right off the rail trail. And... Good job. Yeah. <laughs> um. The town manager's office is working with the library and HED to coordinate the service upgrade to the library. This will cause West Church Street to be closed for a period of time, not to exceed two days. 
In reality, it would be the better part of a day, so don't be alarmed if you see the road closure sign is there. Um, update on the sludge cleanout project. We are still looking for a disposal solution for the Lagoon One cleanup. We are in conversations with the state regarding stockpiling the dewatered sludge at the plant for future disposal when locations open up that are closer to us. Due to the further distance and the increased cost of disposal of dewatered sludge, we are looking at additional six hundred thousand that the project doesn't have. Uh, the conversations with the state, our engineers, and the general contractors will continue to make sure we can get the project completed with the least amount of additional cost. So we're talking about maybe doing uh, a pad and stockpiling and some dewatered sludge within the um, wastewater plant boundaries within the fence. Um, those conversations started today. We had a visit from Paul Lander. Not sure if you've heard that name, but he's a guru for wastewater plants. So he's the one that developed the ARC, which is the anaerobic reactor cell. So he's he takes pride in the heart of the plant. So he's yeah. there to help. Yeah, yeah. He's a good good guy. So probably just gonna happen. It's we have it's gonna happen. It's gotta happen. That's fine. So it doesn't matter how much yep. over oh, we yeah. Well, I don't want to be. Over at no, all. but I mean, we have no, my point is we're getting them. We, got, we have no choice. Yeah. It's been a bit. Um, um, now, Eric would usually be here to say this news, but um, with his absence tonight, I will announce that the Yellow Barn New Market Tax Credit closing happened today. It was successful. Uh, there will be equipment there soon, jacking up the barn and preparing the site for the accelerator building. This is this is a huge project for the area. So I don't know if you guys saw the article in, in seven days, just recently, on uh, the yellow barn. You told me I wanted rock balloons or something. Uh, I'm just thinking, you know, share your <laughs> Right. And then um, I just want to give you a quick um, overview of the funding and what we spent to date and the timeline of the Virgin Park. So our total funding for the bridge that we have available with the grants and our funds is $883,512. Um, we've spent $26,209 of Town of Hardwick committed funds for the design and the work that's been done thus far with SE Group. Um, we have phase two is going to be 61,125, and that's going to get us to all the permitting, the bidding, and the final design of the bridge. So that will leave us with 796,178. And SE Group's estimate of the bridge project a while back was 1,040,000. 49,310. Um, so that leaves us, if every if that cost estimate is accurate, we'll have, we'll be short for the bridge, 252,132. This is the bridge and just, just the bridge. bridge. Just, just the bridge. bridge. The park. We have currently through the Borac, we have fifty thousand dollars for the design of the park. We've spent thirty-three thousand. No, excuse me. We've spent we're we've spent sixteen thousand four hundred sixty-eight so far. And with the phase two proposal, will be twenty thousand short to to do the phase two. So we're short on that. For, sorry, for design or short term design? Design to finish phase, well, to design permitting and going out to bid. So we currently we have, we're, we'd be in the negative on the park and we need to look for funds for the park project. It's the only funds we have for the park project right now. Before I fund. Yeah. So that's going to be something we're going to have but to. We're already going to be. Yeah. yeah. And which we're already looking. Yeah. Um, and then, so the phase two, uh, phase two um, plan is when, when we sign off on it, um, would we get all the design development complete, 
the permitting um, for both the bridge and park and then the construction documents. And then they would do all the bidding. They would put it out to bid. So that was in that phase two, phase two proposal that I sent out. Well, we would put it out to bid. We don't have money to build it, right? Well, not yet. We would see what it would come if we could we could put it out to bid. We'll so that we know what we have to do. So we're still we're still gonna go forward with the primary out to bid. Yeah. And then deal with for the bridge, yeah, the deficit. I don't think I think the the estimate, the cost estimate that SE Group gave us um last fall, I think is a little high. In my, there's a large team yeah, that's my that's my opinion. So I think I think we if we go if we do the phase two with SE group and get the project ready to go out to bid, I think we should go out to bid and see if the numbers come back. See what if we have the money to do it. That's just, I think we we're not losing anything by going out to bid, except for maybe bidders a second. Yeah, concerns about the continuing of the plan to be the projects on construction that are not going to come in under budget in this year. Well, those funds that we have for the bridge are committed to the bridge. We can't be Oh, yeah, I know that. I'm just saying it's. Yeah, it's just an ongoing ongoing project. We're yeah. constantly looking for funds for. Um, we've got one other. Oh, um, so the timeline for the bridge would be um, there's an alter there's an alternate bid timeline of August. Um, I don't know what the you remember what the re, the reasoning for the alternate bid timeline. We can get the things done. The permitting. Yeah. Okay. Then, then they could potentially start the build of the bridge. Right. Well, the, six months. Right. So we got to bid earlier at that right. contractor level. So, right. And they have mm -hmm. to sub it. So, bridge gets done. And it actually goes up next spring. If we don't go out to bid in August, what's the next time? It's the same. So the bridge fabrication would take about six months. Um, once the design is finished, we can they can start doing the building of the bridge, and then the bid. We we put the project out to bid in, in November, or December of this year, and then construction would start in June of twenty four. Everything goes correct. Got to go out to bid earlier because it potentially start take down the wall. Right. Yeah, but in the demo. Yeah. yeah. That's what I've got. Over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars short on the bridge. On the estimate. With the cost estimate that SCP gave us. Yeah. Which which I think is slightly high. Why would you think that? Because they told us they built in 15 percent of it above 15 I get that. That was at the the completion of last summer's construction season, where pricing was back then. Right. Pricing hasn't changed that much, but it has gone down a little bit. And we won't really know until we actually get Correct. Yeah. yeah. So it's nothing to like lose sleep over. Yeah, I'm losing enough sleep problems. <laughs> Any other questions? For Next, we have the road form report given by Case. So, the new cat excavator arrived in last week. They took the old one away. Um, the crew worked on the beautification that they have talked about over by the depot and the townhouse, as well as the like, parking lot area on Henry Road. They started painting sidewalks at the village, um, Hall Bore, Winter Sand. And uh, Tom attended a training course with NBDA go over the yeah, updates the municipal roads general permit program, which is kind of where we get our grant and aid money to have us update the segments of roads that are compliant. So they it was basically the training about a new tool that they have where you can go out in the field with an act and basically be like, okay, here's a segment of road that isn't up to their compliance. 
um, you can kind of like you update it, and then when you get back into service or Wi Fi, it automatically updates into their system, which is much better than the current system. So, um, and I went to a training, a different one, but along the same lines. So, we're learning to um, navigate through those and changes with the new tools, but hopefully it will be easier. We've also been doing some roadside clearing, like green up and doing um, that continuation from last year's stuff. Last of all, so. Any questions? Next, we have item one supporting things that are approving a tobacco license renewal. And there's a to do tobacco license for Dragon Success Gift Shop. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 And the ayes have it. Um, the next item of this is the select board to consider approving a cannabis cultivation license for Roots Vitality Cannabis. Um, um, this is our full right? Yeah, this is right. It's a bit. Yeah, because they don't need a yeah. yeah. So the problems are here. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Of course. Um, do you have any questions? Not sure why, yeah. Do you want to just introduce your talk so we? <laughs> um, yes, uh, I'm Bridget Poppy, and a few years ago, I started a CBD botanical business, and I was inspired to make my remedies because they helped me tremendously with Lyme disease and my thyroid condition, and our remedies are offered at a lot of the local co-ops, including here at Buffalo Mountain Co-op, and recently, we were really excited to apply for our license to extend to the campus side. Um, so we'll be two completely separate businesses, um, our CBD Botanical and then our cannabis side. Nice. Yeah. How are you making out with AGD in the back? Oh, good. <laughs> yes. Sorry. We um, I don't think I've ever seen anybody else at the What have you before? Great for you. We're happy it's moving forward. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, we got um, an update from them yesterday in mail um, with an estimate to hook on to the power pole, but it's likely to be in a good position. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. You're about <laughs> to. I'm just going to say, I'm, uh, my name is Zach. I'll be. I'm you do as you're talking. Yes. Yeah. 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 Figured that out. Yeah. Figured that out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for well, Yeah, thank you for coming. I'm not sure that we. Wasn't the the DRB, didn't they make it conditional on the power thing, though? So, yeah. How does that stand? Did they give you a time frame, HED? Um, no, I think uh, they didn't give us a time frame. I think they give the estimate first. Yeah, and then you got to pay and them. And then we pay them, and then they say. They, they come when they can. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah, hopefully, if you need to get going, hopefully it's quickly, but it is up to them when they come. I know they're going to get some fiber and stuff like that. I mean, they move a bunch of lines because of this. Anyway, yes. But that's what I read is that the DRB said when you get your power, they're good, they're good with everything else, right? As far as I actually haven't heard from you from anybody on that no. since the meeting, you know, we went the 30 days for, for appeal and stuff, and I haven't heard anything since. Do we have to vote or something? We get the power. Yeah, what we well, do. I I move that we approve the cannabis cultivation license to Roots to buy county canvas LLC. I said. Any discussion? Uh, yeah, the only thing is my question about our thing and the DRB 
Really That's just a condition of their permit. Yeah. So, so they have to follow. Yeah. They have to follow that. Right. If you see, they just right. ask one condition. So yeah. That. And you are aware of that. Well, they haven't been notified that they received the permit. Right. We we received the permit from the state. Your um, local zoning permit. You don't have a copy of that. that we uh, we went through the meeting and uh, yeah, she did. She sent it when we got the the red and pink. Yeah, that would have that letter. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's six conditions that on that permit that you need to follow at the very end. Yeah. Okay. What you about us? You got to have power. Um, not, no, I, I just thought that we post a PM yeah. in the other driveway, and if anyone has objections, then we sort of have your name. You want to scroll up to the conditions? Just make sure they're on the bottom. Uh, and just to address the power condition during our meeting with the DRB, um, Hardwick Electric provided a letter of intent during that meeting. So I think that had satisfied them at the time. Yeah. And that's why they put it in the condition just to make sure. So, condition five indoor cultivation and processing cannot commence until the Hardwick Electric Department has been able to install power that is operational. The existing 50 kW generator may only be utilized on the back of energy store and power outage. That's a condition written on the bottom of your permit. Okay, and that's we are we intend to follow that in our permit. Okay, so so once they go, I'll tell you. <laughs> Okay. Great. So the motion on the table. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 We abstentions. Abstentions. Nope. Um, so the motion passes. And so it sounds like if there's so, any question about that, we can follow. So now that they have approved your cannabis license, it's it's um, cultivation and manufacturing. Yep. Correct. Two licenses. Um, I will send notification to the state that the local cannabis control board approved the, the license, and then you will get your license issued by the state. It takes a little bit, but I'll send an email out. Okay. And so then you'll get the license. And just to clarify, it's a it's a mixed tier one. Yeah, so we're indoor and outdoor. Right. Um, and I, I don't believe there's conditions on the outdoor not happening until electricity. Right. Is that that says indoor on your permit? Okay, I just want to make sure everybody was in it. It's just it's really up to that's all up to them anyway, not up to us. Okay. Yeah. And the site it's kind of funny, the site board is like this little hurdle that you have to do to cannabis submission, but we don't really it's really the we site. have no right here to say no to give me no, there's no reason we can say no. Other than the DRB not giving you your permit, we'll say about it's another checks and balance. So yeah. the system is you may have noticed it hasn't really worked out quite yet. There's still some yeah, <laughs> we're, we're not. Let's know. We got to do. We're happy to. Um, and still some Kristen Lay, he had said. Actually, mentioned a site visit. Is that something we should get to the DRB. If would that be reach out to them after tonight to to see what the next steps are? Yeah, we just let them know when you get the power. I would let let her know when you get the power. What's the power? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But uh, you're good to go. Okay. Good luck. Thank yeah. you guys. Thank you for coming. Of course. You're welcome to grab their seat. You're also welcome. Yeah. Are you going to be lit? Are you members of the party? Are you like? Yeah, I actually work at Farmnex. Oh, cool. Okay. So we have um, many boards and staff <laughs> <laughs> that you can always join. Uh, once you get your feet on the ground, yeah, yeah, get this going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm excited because I, I heard you guys talk about the yellow bar, yeah, and I think that's what we're trying to move to. Yeah, yeah, um, wow, and that's exciting, yeah, to hear about. Well, cool. so this, you know, when you want a civic yeah. engagement, you can come yeah, to yeah, meetings yeah. every other every first and third Thursdays of the month. Okay. Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 we'll see you in the next. Thank you. All right, so next we have item four, site board to consider approving a water and sewer protection application for property located at 95 Putnam Brown. I also observed that Alberta's on the way. I don't know if she's 
on YouTube. She was just called, she was just on YouTube guys and any questions about the faculty. So okay, great. So I'll be first, but she came on, she was on the screen when we had that. We're just a little bit of skeptics. Anyway, so we've got uh, item number four. Water sewer. Sure. Oh, she's yeah. listening, Danny. <laughs> Where's what the matter with uh, It's the second, it's uh, the street below Vermont, or above yep. Vermont Avenue. In oh, between well, the curl. Now, where? I mean, where? Uh, who, is that Pete Oak Street? This, no. Yeah. It is. Yeah. 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 It's there's two lots up there oh, wow. that were over there in Sandy. Yeah. Yeah. And somebody's building a house there. Phil's still a bit of condo up there? What? Where's Phil? I don't know. No, Phil is down here. At the Judah Bay Mansion. Have you been up there? Long time. We'll take her around. Spent a lot of time up there. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. guys, it's on the moving. Finish. Here comes the water. Take a motion to approve the water and sewer connection um, for as a property located at 95 Putnam Avenue. Second. Any other discussion? Yeah. No. <laughs> All those in favor, please say hi. Sitting right back to the Oh, yes. Did you say yes, Jane? Yes. All right. All this. <laughs> the eyes have a motion passes. Um, the item number five, select board to review the FY24 water center expense budget and consider approving. Can you hear us okay, Alberta? Yep. I can hear you just fine. Cool. What's the screening on this? Well, okay. so I'm going to put up the screen. We'll start with water budget because that's easier. <laughs> okay. Boy, that's so much better than the old screen. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You want to move that? Halfway down the thing, there's a little. So, I just want to talk about the stuff in highlights a little bit. So, the reason this is in yellow is because we don't typically budget for appreciation, we force budget for appreciation. So, it is an expense that's recorded when we have our audit. But that's why this number down here is like, oh, we, that's our expense, this appreciation expense. We, we don't budget for that. Um, so she get that out. Um, and then uh, some of the ones that sort of stick out would be the admin office supplies. We are going to be getting a mapping software through the same company that does our tax mapping. That is an annual fee. Um, do, you, do you want to explain what that does? Yeah, so we'll be able to. Um, so currently the mapping software shows where our mains are, our sewer mains, our manholes. Um, and this is, this is the water side. So it shows also where our water mains are. It doesn't necessarily show where the service line goes into the residents. So part of the lead service inventory project that I've talked to you guys about, um, we're going to implement the software, which was supposed to happen uh, a couple of years ago. And with that software, we'll be able to tie in those service lines going into the houses and indicate what water, what uh, the service line material is. We can even put a meter um, serial number on there. So we'll be able to map some more data for the, the individual water service. We're also going to split this cost with the East Harvard Fire District because they're gonna do the same thing. They're gonna locate their water mains, it's going to be on the same mapping software we have. Um, currently, their water system is not on this mapping software. So we're going to use the software to get them going, um, and they're going to pay a portion of it. Didn't we get a lot of that when we did the meters? We got a lot of the yeah, there's a lot of info. We got a lot of the information. We're going to plug it into the software. <laughs> 
So the swap work fee is going to be split between water sewer and cargo transportation as well. Yep. And there's an initial setup cost. A and one time fee, and then software. So that's where that computer comes from. Line maintenance um, that's basically been based on the spend history. If you can see what we spent in 22, and I also say what we are recent in 23, and that's what we did in to seven. Um, the town equipment charge, don't know if you recall this, but we ended up waiving that for fiscal year 23 um, because of that person in the water and sewer. Um, Thought that everything was kind of high, but those funds were paying a lot to the general funds. So we waived in fiscal year 23, but plan to go back to a portion in, in this fiscal year 24. We're not going to go to 10,000 like we used to, but we're going to 2,000 there. Um, I guess it's about it. Everything else is really, I you can see quite small increases, a little bit more in capital. Um, yeah. Utilities anticipating a rate increase for electricity. So that's where that comes from. And I'll say in the space on history, I'll go down a little bit on that. So it shows an increase of chicken books a lot of this. This is to pay for my water rates. And we haven't decided it's which going to be it. So this is like, what are we going to spend? Then we'll set our ways and to come up with this. Yes. And those, well, we're going to have an institutional rates. <laughs> Usually we like to see how we close out the year, how we met our budget. You know, you know like the overages and so. Find the golden eggs somewhere. So, any more questions about that before I move on to the water? No, but that looks good. Yeah. Uh, 3% is these days. Good job. Do we have a place for everyone? Do we know where we would dig it if we needed to dig it in more? We could do it. We, we ever do it. I believe there's. I, I, be, I believe there's been some planning around that. But yes, uh, for the jobs here. Yeah, I don't. I don't we have some of our treatments, but I don't. I know we have. I don't. And the, the, the pit was a plus, right? He, he yeah, that was a plus. But I know we were talking about it, and I think that was scary. Um, I'll just talk about Richmond. Yeah. I mean, I would start to recommend some John Jones here because I know he's he, that's not what we can't be trying right long term priorities, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, things are definitely so trying to so. they're getting there's no doubt about it. So as a reminder, um, I mean, the amount we're setting aside in the water capital is less than what you've seen in the past, and that's because starting in fiscal year 23, we started putting our debt payments right in the main budget so that people could see it instead of transferring it to capital. Paying it out of capital eliminates that step. So you'll see the debt service for the Richmond Reservoir and the water meters right in the main budget. And so that means we put the stuff that we're paying capital truly is for projects. Um, so for the fiscal year 24, we're proposing 50,000, which is on here. And then we go out three years. And at this point, we're looking at increasing by a year, really, years. And then this is sort of the plan. Oh. Again, questions about that. My only question is early. What the timeline for some of these is going to be, kind of what we just talked about. Like, do we have a, an idea of when we're doing a reservoir roof replacement? Or is, there, is any of this coming up? Well, reservoir roof replacement should be like 30 or 40 years. We're going to need one on the hideaway reservoir. Yeah. But we do have some money in there as well. Yeah. 
is the place we do that. We have that off of that for a little bit since we've got some funds in there. We're paying the bridge and bond out of the regular budget. So we're just going to stop for a couple of years and put it into other categories that need it more. We've talked about the line upgrades. Yeah, we're going to need kind of the water main upgrades. Yeah. And I think that would be tied into a bigger project. Concerns with the capital plan. On to the store budget. So highlights here, same thing, the admin expenses that increase for this, the sharing of the annual software. Cross is chemicals. Um, we have two chemicals that increase by a dollar again this year, um, which is pretty significant because in our current fiscal year, we're $12,000 for budget for chemicals. Um, so we know we have to go up on that significantly. Um, I think we're at 38 right now, um, but I know we made some adjustments and expect to be a little less than that because one of the chemicals we're using myself. So we went up by $10,000 to $36,000, which we feel is more accurate in line with the expense of those right now. Um, one other big piece here is that with the timing of the wastewater project, we're not going to have a bond payment in fiscal year 24 because the bond payments start in the arrested construction ends. Um, and so means that. In, like just the project would need to be done by July 1st of this year. I mean, so sorry, year. So we're actually going to get another year not having a lot of the average long thing will be in this year from Friday. And so in light of that, kind of proposing that we basically plan for that payment, which is going to be a thousand, and we put that cap again to go back. I don't want to get into scenarios here, but Instead of that bond payment, we're going to plan that will help our rate payers get used to what the rates are going to look like with that bond payment because we're basically putting into capital with the bond. So, okay, we started doing that. That was last year. We did, we did, we did 130 yeah. to capital last year, 140 this year. I feel like we're, so, we'll gradually get up there. Um, what else? Is there any benefit to paying off the bond or we can't? We can't. We can't. That's fine of thought. So yeah, we cannot pay it off early. So um, yeah, so that's and I don't think there's anything else to stand about here. Like plan for electricity increases. Um, propane, it's gonna the plant will be switching all propane instead of fuel oil. So, is that in? Um, just you know, increased health insurance costs, salary increases. So, it's a, just over seven percent increase, which again, for the upgrades to the plant, is sort of to be expected. So, but that's. So what, so what happens with the with the sludge project going over budget? Where is that going? Oh, when it when it's well said that if we can come up with really what we need to do is buy some time and stockpile the plan right now is to stockpile some of the dewatered sludge at the at the site. And hopefully we can ship loads to local disposal sites, which will help us control the cost. Yeah. Um, we have, we move, um, we, we had some scenarios in capital 
um, that we'll talk about as to where we could. Um, do you want to go? Yes. Yeah. So this is this two, two, two capital campus. Where, this is where the money would come from. Okay. So option one here shows you know where we stand with our current dollars. So we do have a property of one hundred fifty thousand. Um, and then we do the hundred and forty for the current year, and then it'll go down to twenty because we'll be having that long payment. So we're not able to. You know, we can't do that right here, so we're gonna have to increase what we do once we have that on the payment. Um, so that's the first scenario is just you know, this here current allocation by category and doing fix amount. Option two, I'm happy here. So the categories in yellow here are ones that are actually being upgraded for the project. So and they're being paid for out of the right. So what we're looking at is shifting some of those categories. So for example, um, here the anaerobic cover has one hundred and twenty-eight thousand in it. Well, we would take say a hundred thousand dollars of that and put it down here into sludge disposal. Um, and same thing with aerations. We take like 15 plus. We leave some, but it's getting a new boiler, it's getting new aeration, control, lagoon liner. So we would take from those categories and redistribute to sludge disposal, um, which would then take the sludge disposal out of the negative. Because as you can see, option one here, our sludge disposal is essentially negative. I mean, don't find it, it's not negative, but our plans for those particular projects. Um, so we would take from the categories that are being upgraded in the current project and shift that money over to the sludge disposal, giving us local efficiency. That makes sense great because if we're making all those upgrades, then they should be good for another 30, 40 right. years. So we, you know, we'll stop for a couple of years reserving for those and five or seven, we'll start doing that again. But for right now, those are brand new, so we, we, can, we can afford to take from those categories. And where it's more needed. So if that makes sense, so that one was, it ended up being oh, 180 something thousand, I think, that we were able to ship oh. over because it was negative 33. Right. So there's something that would be something that we would take from these categories because they were upgraded and shifted. That's option two, which is kind of what. Do you need to actually send the warrant tonight, or is this just general? I mean, that's what you need to do. Actually, you need to. The option two. That would be the action. Then we allocate some of that capital funds. So that's going to be the second one. Oh, no. Which ultimately is going to follow right there. I think for that, I would prevail. I have faith. I have faith that the money will show up from somewhere, whether it's the water investment division, whether there's some emergency fund somewhere. Right, right. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it positive. Well, we're not the only ones with this problem. Oh no! So it's somebody's got to be thinking about it somewhere. I mean, we're we're probably way further ahead when you think we have a because we are so glad that we started this project. Our, 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 we're piling ours up on the bank. You know what I mean? There's many people are, they're not going to have capacity. Their plants are going to not run them because they can't get rid of it. We were kind of unfortunate, even if it costs us more. To be we're going to be after this fall, we're going to be in a great position. Growth. Right. And there's other municipalities, a lot of them that are going to be at capacity. They are at capacity. Or already yeah. beyond. Beyond, right. Yeah. With what they're what they're currently right. needs are, are, are right. I mean, how do you tell your village that you don't have a big Danny, did you make a motion for option two? Um I can. Well I don't so know if we want to talk about it more or not. I guess. I mean, between I'm option sorry. one and two, that's the thing I think a lot of people would have to do. So if you're going to do them as a block, you can do them separately. You can do the water fund and then the sewer fund. You get off to the I make a motion that uh, we set the water fund as proposed. 
Do you want to do it all together or something? Uh, and, and, and the sewer budget up to two. And seconds. Yeah, so we'll just do our discussion. All those in favor of accepting the water and sewer expense budgets with option two, please say aye. 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 Could you just clarify option two for the capital plan? Option two for the capital plan. <laughs> it's it depends. Yep. Yeah. The, so right. the expense budgets and then the capital option two for the capital plan. Per right. wastewater. Yes. Yeah, per wastewater. Right. You know that right now from Miles. Okay, so motion is approved. Thank you. Next, we have a second course. I'd like to report that the city nominates the city's town to invite everyone to make off on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you will not be there. So feel free to take a couple of laps. <laughs> it, it, if they weren't going to charge me $50, $60, $85. Yeah. You could buy me one. Oh, I'm an official. Please stand. $65. So Yes. Are they cleaning up the mess? I don't believe that. It didn't look like a clean up the mess type vehicle, but they're clean. Not as safe as open around. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 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 It was all garbage up with yeah. all garbage. kinds of stuff. It reminds me when I look at it, it reminds me of what it looked like when the railroad opened. Yeah. yeah. I remember that. <laughs> 1972. But, but I was driving through here and I looked back. Yeah. And I could see the town, the back side of the townhouse, the depot. Yeah. And it's like, that's. Those are the like that. Yeah. 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 I actually ate my lunch there yesterday. Yeah. So sell that parking lot, guys, to, <laughs> yeah, to the community. I mean, that's our ticket to fixing the parking problem. But it's going to shade and it's going to struggle. Community parking is up to Yeah. I heard, you know, people that are working for the day, and I will gladly shuttle people down if they can arrive, <laughs> rather than take complaints about <laughs> no parking. <laughs> Um, the townhouse is, uh, you know, we're working on a funding strategy for something. You know, we're um, some one and a half dollars short for our mm -hmm. capital campaign. So, um, we're looking at a uh, we uh, uh, accessibility, accessibility, or our This is for the accessibility. The, at the grants and accessibility. The, the balcony is currently closed because the doors are, the stairs are gone and the doors are being changed. And Salad Fish Burn is going to come back over the next month, I hope, to uh, do that little swap. And then um, we'll maybe get some painting done and we'll get the accessible, the ramp that is currently being held up by Cinderbox um, repaired to the, for the access entrance. And, Doing that this month, and then next month, the former players come in and hopefully, yeah, find sixty-one thousand dollars. Still accepting donations, by the way. It'll show up. We got letters today. You'll get it. Yeah, we'll see. Um, and then I just want to pick the equity committee is having a, our what's been shared series this Sunday at the. At the health center uh, from 1232. It's a conversation about um, the customer challenges in healthcare in our community. So, all are welcome. There will be snacks, um, and there are quite a few staff coming from the health center. Any other reports? New the, business? Oh. The um, feedback time for the park plans. I haven't seen anything from any of you at all. Um, the you know the plans are in the in the display case on the Cliff Joint building. The um, it ends on June fifth, which is Monday, and I can email people. All the instructions are there. I've been posting on front porch form every day. So if you want to say something about this design, say it now. 
Please. But forever hold your feet. <laughs> so that we can incorporate it into a you know final design. Because until we get a price tag for it, we can't go find money for it. So that's the truth. And I gotta go speech speak at the Harvard Alumni Banquet. That's how it you graduate? Did I graduate? I <laughs> Thanks, okay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> they don't get my clothes in the town of high school credentials. <laughs> I got to go to the Me too. I was so hard. <laughs> All right. Any other? Not hearing anything else? It's been meeting at the